falling into the fires of hell, for example. But don't worry, the solution to this is actually simpler than you might think. It's the You're gonna like where this is going. Alexander, the movement. Check it out. I Get a load of this bit of awesome. Until now. Now, if there's a bull charging at me, well, you wave a red scarf at him, obviously, right? Alexander, his back inches from the fiery pit, tempts the Minotaur with the Red Queen scarf. Look here, you bully! <laughs> nice, bright red. A cursed vagabond. Red. Come on. You die. Bring it. Yeah! Ooh. The Minotaur drops from sight amidst the consuming flames. Slowly, his scream fades as well. Have you been harmed, Lady Celeste? Are you all right? No, I am not all right. <laughs> I assume you do not intend to leave me tied up on this vile monstrosity. Uh, of course not. Sorry. <laughs> um. Let's see. If you'll give me a moment, I'll have these untied in no time. I can't wait that long. Shut up! I wear a small dagger just inside my belt. It should be enough to cut the rope. Oh, all right. I, I've got it, Lady Celeste. Here we go. All right. Thank you. You may keep the dagger as a gift for saving my life. Sweet. That's very generous. Forget it. Do you mind if we just get out of here now? Yeah. Good thing the Minotaur had a fire pit in here for no reason. Catacombs complete, baby. We are pros. The Winged One's guards, bored with the pointless waiting, are startled by the sound of rock moving against rock. Glinting eye. That damn genie. Lady Celeste, bide thee well. I'm quite well. Thanks to the bravery of a mere human. <laughs> so much for your superior intellect. Ouch. Yes, me lady. Now I... bring him along. I'm going home. <laughs> they just have to take that. Ah, ah. Damn it, Genie. I see you have proven yourself the hero of the prophecy. Well, I am expected to thank you for saving my daughter's life. So, I thank you. <laughs> I am obliged to thank you for the restoration of our sacred catacombs. It means much to our people. We have already begun the process of clearing the deadly traps from its rooms. Clearing the it pits? It is also my duty to grant you a visit with the Oracle. So this I do. I will grant you the freedom to leave here unharmed. Despite my orders to the contrary from the crown. Sweet. But there, my obligations to you end. I have no love for Alhazred, but he is my liege, and if Princess Kasima trusts him and wishes to wed him, my guards will take you to the Oracle now. When your time with her is through, I want you to leave the city of the Winged Ones and never return. I don't know who you are or what you want here. But I will not disobey my crown further. This gets very by I the book. You, Lord, as you are. I will respect your wishes. Notice he cut himself off with Princess Kasima, like he didn't even want to speak of that. No one seems to like Alhazred. Good. Ooh, look at this. Hail to thee, great oracle. Lord Azure sends you this wingless mail. It appears that he solved the cliffs of logic and defeated the Minotaur in his lair. Nice. So I have seen. So this is the one that haunts my pool of late. Welcome, young seeker. What knowledge do you desire? All of it. Princess Kasima. whatever you can tell me, great oracle. Ah, of course, the princess. That explains my images. Let us see what we can see. Hey, I am a maiden, lovely and pure, but surrounded by evil. This oracle's legit. 
set amidst bitter thorns. It is her fate to be the pawn of dark powers, and yours to try to redeem her. Hmm. How? How do I redeem her? Um... Fate is not like the cut of a blade, young one, but rather like the myriad of paths formed when a hammer cracks ice. I will tell you what I can, but what will actually come to pass is up to you. I see that any attempt to reach the girl will force you into battle, a struggle against a dark force. Oh jeez. If you lose, your life will be forfeit. Fair enough. Who must I fight? A great darkness surrounds your adversary, preventing me from seeing Clearly, I can only make out the shape of a black cloak. Hmm. But before this final struggle, the genie? I see an infiltration, a dangerous game of hide and seek in corridors filled with enemies. Wow. The risks are high, but it's the only way to reach the one you seek. This is good stuff. There is more than one way into this place. Your choice will dictate much. What else do you see, mighty oracle? Ooh. Oh! Oh, such pain. I see two restless spirits crying out for revenge. These shades could help you destroy the dark force if they were to be brought back from their spiritual form. Oh, good luck. Yet this is only one possible path to your destiny. I'm afraid this is getting beyond me. I know very little about the afterlife. I can only advise getting counsel from the druids. Be warned. Druids. The druids are reclusive and dangerous. They might aid you, or they might destroy you. This sucks. Like their island, the druids' nature is hidden in the mists. There is nothing more I can do for you, except to give you this. Ooh. It is water from the sacred pool. That and my blessing go with you. Thank you, great oracle. Okay. That was very informative. Big plot drop right there. Looks like I got my work cut out for me. <laughs> oh, bye. Well, now that I've done that, let's get out of here. Alex? Oh, Isle of the Mists. Intriguing. Let's take a look. Alexander. Come on, what's this gonna have for us? Ooh. From the northeast come the sounds of mysterious drums and chanting. Hmm. I think it's time we saved. She did say the druids were reclusive and dangerous. I don't know how much I like that. Let's see what's going on. Yep, a little further. There we go. From the east come the sounds of mysterious drums and chanting. Alexander takes the scythe. Sweet. Alexander reaches into the fire pit and takes a lump of coal. There we go. Save one more time. Let's see what's going on in civilization. The way north is blocked by impenetrable forest. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, here we go. Hey guys. Alexander is frozen at the spectacle before him. Robed figures are gathered around a bonfire. Some mystical ceremony is taking place. 
but as to its purpose, Alexander has no clue. Brothers, look! Uh-oh. Alexander's been seen. Ugh. Yo. This must be the foreigner we were warned about. How appropriate that he should come during our rain festival. Place him in the sacrificial cage. What? Wait! I must rescue the princess! There's an ancient druid saying, a man who would save others must first save himself. Oh crap. Alexander is pushed into the confining wicker cage. I don't think I like where this is going. Oh. And the cage is swung out over the bonfire. I remember this death sequence is particularly dark. Alexander starts to feel a little warm. Mm. The bottom of the cage is getting uncomfortably hot. This sucks. Alexander is getting really hot. You know Mostly, it. Alexander passes out from the heat before the first tongues of flame ignite the wicker. Ugh. Ooh. That's just bad. I didn't even want to show you that death sequence. Tickets. Oh. Next. That was a bit too hot to handle. Ugh. Alexander should have been better prepared. Implying that I will go to them later. Interesting. Well, now that I've explored, I should have their scythe and their coal. I got the coal. I have the scythe. Let's get out of here. I'm not going to interact with any of the locals just yet. This time, from the northeast, I'm getting out of Alexander. here. I'm going to the Isle of the Beast. Al All right. <laughs> that wacky lake. Yeah, back to the statue. I'm sorry, but just to show how dark this game is, one more time, I have to. Archer atop that's just that's just terrible. Just freaking the get shot in the back of the neck. That's ridiculous. But I am prepared this time with the shield. Alexander decides to pass through the gate, preparing the shield just in case. Here we go. Good block. The magic arrow completely shatters the shield. Good thing the arrow didn't hit Alexander. Seriously. And now the statue is out of ammo. I'm safe now. Alexander takes a magnificent white rose from the rose hedges. Alright, keep going. Alexander walks forward to step onto the gazebo. Ooh. But the rose hedges on either side of the path, sensing an intruder's presence, reach out their vines and blend together. The path is blocked. Hell no, I'm not putting up with that. What do you think a scythe is for? Alexander wields the scythe, determined to get past the magical rose hedges. Let's do it. The leaves fly as Alexander tries to cut the branches faster than they can grow back together. That's frustrating. He sees light. He's through. Yes! You hear this music? Whoa. Who dares enter Beast Garden? My name is Alexander. I didn't mean to disturb your private garden. No. And yet, monsieur, you could hardly have accidentally broken through the three enchanted traps of the Isle of the Beast. Um, I, I suppose it is simply my nature to break through enchanted traps. <laughs> what? <sighs> you must be a prince, then. I know the nature of princes all too well. This face you see before you is hideous, is it not? Well, for the face of a beast, it is really quite noble. Uh. Ha! 
I'm glad you like it, for you will soon own one just like it. Crap. I too was once a pretty prince, caring for nothing but adventuring and rescuing fair maidens. But I rankled one too many evil hags. One dark night, I was turned into this obscenity you see before you. Crap. Warped in shape and trapped on this enchanted island over a hundred years ago. Surely there is a way off this island. Oh, surely. You broke in, did you not? And yet think, where would I go clad so eloquently as I am with this silk and this pelt? You see, my prison is also my sanctuary. You are the first to break through the barriers in lo these many years. That is, except for the druids who stole my heirloom coat of arms. The druids. If there's any way I can help. Help? You? I'm afraid you don't understand. The enchanted barriers were a warning and protection for you more than for me. Your prize for forcing your way past them is to join me in this dire life. That sucks. By the laws of this sorcery, you are doomed to be trapped in the form of a beast. Your reward for broaching this garden is to be my slave. A slave as beastly as I am. Ugh. You have only a few hours of humanity left. But that's not possible. There must be some way to break the enchantment. Spells always have a weakness somewhere. The enchantment you are under is tied to my own. Or the sorceress left me a way out. But I'm afraid it was only her final bitter joke. You see, I need only find a maiden to join me here, to share my castle, my life, willingly. Take another look at me. You can't help but admire the hag's terrible cruelty and cunning. Uh. I shall try to find such a maid, for Cosima's sake. Truly? How determined of you. I personally would not waste my last few hours as a man on an impossible errand. However, you may do as you please. I give you this token. It's my family ring, and the only heirloom I have left. If perchance you should... If you think you have found a maid... I shall give her this ring. Yes, she must accept it of her own free will. By doing so, she accepts me. Not that you shall find anyone, mind you. Your time is short. Count the minutes on your fingers while your fingers you have, pretty prince. Yeah. Your master will await you. He's not even evil, he's just really bitter. And can you blame him? When he says count the minutes on your fingers, he means it. I believe in game time I have 10 minutes before it's game over. So what I now have to do is find a maiden quickly. <laughs> and it's going to be even harder. We have to navigate these wacky bottoms of the screens. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Oh, so many screens. Ooh, so many screens to navigate. Yes. Map time. Oh, the crown, of course. Remember that slave girl? The hint was the beast's music was a different version of Beauty's song. Another subtle hint, I love it. Go, go, go! Believe it or not, I do want to go here first. Why? Obviously. Jalo, my friend, is the wedding still moving forward at the castle? Prince Alex, he gads, yes, that confounded wedding has a whole castle a bustle. That confounded Look, I wedding? I come here to talk about that, though. I came to warn you. Warn me? About what? Isn't the wedding bad enough? No, listen. 
The Wazir knows that you're here, Alexander. He's posted extra guards, and he's telling them about a foreign saboteur. Ooh. Who else could he mean but you? That sucks. The Wazir's genie must have learned of your presence in the land, Prince Alex. <laughs> I don't know how, but he must have. I haven't exactly been discreet, I'm afraid. Alexander, this is serious. El Hazred will never let you get close to Kasima now. Yeah, really. He's doubled the castle guard, probably to make sure you keep out. Dead Zooks! <laughs> oh, it's too bad there isn't some way to convince Al Hazred that you've left the island, so even died. Dead Zooks! If you thought you were out of the way, you might be able to get close enough to... Hmm, what an interesting thought. Tell me more about this genie. The genie's name is Shamir Shamazo. Nice. Al Hazred brought Shamir with him when he came to this kingdom. Shamir probably won't directly threaten you, but that doesn't mean he isn't dangerous. He can be a terrible trickster yeah. and an ingenious spy. <sighs> it's too bad we can't get our hands on Shamir's lamp. If we had that lamp, Al Hazred and all of our problems would be solved. Nice. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a fine thing? You would wish to be master of such a wicked creature? Oh, Shamir isn't necessarily evil. Genies never are, you know. They only reflect their own as heart, for good or ill. Oh. Al Hazred is hardly a shining example for an impressionable genie. Hmm. So how do you propose we go about getting Shamir's lamp? What? Oh, Prince Alex, I was only dreaming. I mean, the lamp is heavily guarded. It would be easier to steal Al Hazred's own trousers while he's wearing them. Wow! Than to get that lamp. Wow! But surely a clown's hands are quick and agile. Well, yes, they are, as uh, a matter of fact. But then the theft would be detected almost immediately. And then... My poor neck. Yeah. If the theft were detected. Oh, I see! Yes, well, there might be a slim chance, but only that. If you could find a replica of the genie's lamp, uh, an exact replica, I might be able to make the swap. Nice. I alone might get close enough. But I couldn't tell you what to look for. I caught a glimpse of it only once. I would know it if I saw it again, but to say I, I cannot. Well... I'll just have to see what I can do. Good luck to you then, Prince Alex. I, uh, really must be going back to the castle. I don't think I'll be able to come back here. If we were spied on, well, it's too high a risk. I hope you understand. Fair enough. If I see Kasima, I'll tell her I saw you. If you do ever make it to the castle, look me up. And do be careful, friend. I will. Goodbye, Jalo. Thanks for all your help. Things are really getting intense now. Now that I've talked to Jalo, I can just head out. Yeah, keep walking, buddy. Hopefully he's alive by the end of the game. There we go. Now I'm going to have to show her the white rose in order for her to even consider talking to me. Remember, she tends these rose bushes, and this is a unique rose in that it is not red. Pardon me, maid. I hope you don't think me forward. But I see that you like roses. I thought you might, perhaps, like a fresh white rose. Alexander can see the conflict in the girl's pretty face as she fights between her distrust of him and her desire for the white rose. The rose wins. Nice. Roses always win. Oh, I shouldn't, sir, but it is so lovely. I've never seen a rose of white. It looks so pale and delicate. Wherever did you find one of such a color? There are many hedges of them on the Isle of the Beast, and they grow together like magic. Oh, truly? What an adventure that must be to see them. But I should not speak so, especially to a stranger. Yeah, really. Thank you for the rose, though. Kind, sir. 
Speaking of the Isle of the Beast, I should point out that the Beast said that the Druids stole a coat of arms. So wonder, says the Beast stole their singing stone, the Beast says the Druids stole his coat of arms, we have a whole circle of deceit here. What's going on with all that? Well, I should show her where these roses came from, the Beast's ring. Alexander has a thought about the serving girl. He decides to bring up the subject of Beast with her. Let me tell you about the place where the white roses grow. The Isle of the Beast is an enchanted place. There's a path running through a deep forest. The path crosses three magic blockades set to keep all visitors away. At the center lives a tremendous beast. Really? Magic blockades? How exciting! What kind of a beast? Is it very terrifying and ferocious? Uh. It is a beast that walks on two legs and dresses like a prince. It speaks with the voice of a man. A beast that talks and wears clothes? How is that possible? Dude, this is the King's Quest. Too? An oyster Not that magical. lies on a bed? Enchanted. Beast was once a prince, but a witch trapped him in the form of a beast and set him on the island. There he lives in a castle, in the midst of a maze. How terrible! Imagine how lonely he must be. It is a very lonely prospect, isn't it? Oh, I have met him, you see. He is indeed ferocious, but who would not be? He really exists? Oh, how it breaks my heart. If I could, I would tend to such a beast. Such a beast might find comfort in a kind face. Do you not think it's so? Oh, I think it's so. I very much think it's so. He's good. You would not be afraid of him? Afraid? Maybe at first. But how silly of me to speak so. The roses in this little yard are the only magic I will ever see. I could take you there. In fact, I would owe you my life if you would go. <laughs> Touché. Very true. Very true. You are serious? I could leave here? Oh, I have always dreamt of leaving. But to actually go... Look, Lady Speedy, that's I'm gonna die home soon. I have ever known. Home is a hard place to leave. Even if you're unhappy there. But I will go, if I can help him. I, I must go. You know what the real irony of all of this is? Alexander's voice actor is the Beast in Disney's Beauty and the Beast. Is that too much, or what? Is there nothing you wish to take with you? There is nothing. Then take this ring. It is his. He will be pleased if you would wear it. Why, it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Thank you kindly, sir. Beauty! Where do you think you're going? Of course her name is Beauty. To a place where roses grow, and to someone who truly needs me. And we're there, okay. I see you wear my ring. Hey. You willingly agree to spend your life here with me? Do you know what that means? Yes, my lord, I do. I have been touched by your story. Pity alone need not sentence you to endure this face. Oh, but it is a gentle face, and kind. You look at me so sweetly and are not repulsed. Oh, by the light of your eyes, my spirit soars! Whoa! The enchantment! It is broken! Oh god, go back to the beast, please. <laughs> I am pleased to have served you, my lord. Do you still wish me to stay? What? Speak not such nonsense, beauty. Do you think that I learned nothing of true love during my time here? You are my queen. Whoa! Hey! Oh! My clothes! This gown! How well it suits your noble heart. That damn genie. 
Alexander. How can I ever repay you? I have nothing to offer except my gratitude. Hey, you cured the spell. Please, take these old clothes. Perhaps you'll find someone in need during your travels. You have already repaid me by your example of courage, beauty. Hmm. And by your friendship, I hope. You will always have our friendship and loyalty, Prince Alexander. But from a fellow adventurer, take some advice. If you find your true love, protect her with your life. We're all beasts without the redeeming humanity of love. Good line. And to aid you, accept my mirror. Now that my life is no longer hung in false shadows, I have no need for it. Give it to someone with nothing to fear from the truth it reveals. Ooh. Thank you. I wish you both well. Come, beauty. Let me take you home. That is a pretty cool castle. Nice, very gracious. The genie walks off that little sneak. Now, as you can see, I have acquired Beauty's clothes and a mirror. By the way, you know how I got Kasima's hair, which would qualify as the maiden's hair for the spell? If I did not search the ribbon, I could search Beauty's clothes and get her hair, which would still technically count as a pure maiden's hair. As for this mirror, this is a powerful mirror. It reveals the absolute truth for whoever looks into it. So that's very important. Now that we've gotten such this fantastic ending, this seems like a good place to stop the playthrough for now. What do you think? We're doing well, aren't we? Haha, <laughs> Lotus saved the beast. Whew, this time we get to end the playthrough on a positive note, and I like that. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today. We ran through the dastardly dungeon that is the Isle of the Sacred Mountains Catacombs. And not only do we make it through, but we also killed the Minotaur, saved Lady Celeste, gained the respect of the leaders of the mountain, though they won't allow me back there again, and we even managed to save the leader of the Isle of the Beast, the Beast himself. We are gaining the respect of every island we cross. In fact, the only place that seems to really dislike us is the Isle of the Crown, because of Abdul al Hazred. Everyone else, of course, is our ally, but al Hazred is the leader, and that's no good. Well, I suppose there's also the Isle of Wonder with its two queens, although they don't hate me so much as just disrespect Alexander, so there's that little problem to worry about. But then those druids. What to do about those druids? Well, we're going to have to see what happens in the next installment. Until next time, everyone. Oh yeah, one more thing. I had said that it would take ten minutes to completely fail at the beast's challenge and turn into a beast yourself. And I didn't show you that because I wanted to get along with the playthrough. But what if I had screwed up? Take a look at this wacky ending. Alexander feels a strange sensation come over him. His skin begins to itch. His head throbs. Wee, 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 wee. Was that the beast you could do?